Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proforex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 13. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about setting basic CSS and JS files for our admin theme. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, in our last video session, we had discussed about the route setting of our left sidebar. We have made our routes and if I click on any of the menu links, as we can see that we will redirect it to a specific link. But right now we have no made actually view file for this particular routes. Okay. And also if I click on control U or view page source, as we can see that multiple CSS and JS files basically attached with this theme and as we can see that these are the CSS files basically unnecessarily we have attached with this theme and also if I back to footer these are the actually JS files attached with this theme so we have to remove all these things first and also we have to attach some of the new JS files and CSS files according to our need so first of all we have to remove all these things back to editor and inside this we have made all our scripts and styles inside this resources folder inside that we have a folder called admin and inside views folder we have a folder called admin inside admin we have a layouts folder and inside this we have scripts and styles so inside these two files we have to customize for our assets file so basically first of all we have to remove our styles so if I just remove this text editor, date range picker, date picker, Morris chart and uh, up to this. Okay. So if I save this file, go to browser, reload this page and also we have removed the background color so back to editor. Let me undo all these things and this is all skins.mean.css. So I'm going to remove this from Morris chart 2 up to the end section. Save this file, reload this browser and all is ok. So if I press Ctrl U, as we can see that we have now only the needed files inside this CSS. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are only 6 including this font family we have attached with our style section unnecessarily we had made our application too much heavy so we have removed that and also we have to also filter out our JS scripts so back to editor open our scripts.blade.php and inside this we have jquery.mean.js and this is UI if I scroll down this is all about Morris JS charts so we are not longer to use that so I'm going to remove all these things and uh, no date picker scroll down and I'm going to remove all these things and also this is about the theme script so we have to keep as it is and also I'm going to remove all these things so if I save this page back to and reload this browser and if I click on any of these links it is working it is working so all is ok now so now basically we have only these basic files of CSS or JS and these are the basic files of CSS that we have attached with this admin theme. So back to browser, I am going to press Ctrl U again, close this first and these are the CSS files filter out and these are the JS files we had filter out. So now we are going to attach some of the new JS files and CSS files according to our need. What are those files? Basically we are going to attach some of the validation files. Suppose we are going to make some of the forms inside these sections called add section and add class. We want to validate by using jQuery. So we have to add a file for validation and also we are going to use called data tables inside this list section or list classes. So we have to attach data table file first and also we want some meaningful warning messages. Suppose we have some records. While clicking on delete button, we want to uh, get a pop-up with a proper layout. So for that, we are going to use called switch alert. 
So according to use this functionalities, we want to attach our assets file first. So this is the official website of data tables where we are going to download all these CSS files and JS files to use this data table feature. And also while using this validation library, we have to download via going to this official website. So if I click on this link, this is validate official website. So scroll down. Here are the various CDN links. By going through the CDN links, you can download and save your save this file to your local system. So how can we download? So if I copy this path and open up in browser, this is and right click and save as. This is the processor to download this file to our local system. Now finally, we have to download about the suite alert. So if I back to new tab this is the official website for bootstrap scroll down and this is for sweet alert for bootstrap so if i click on this link now view on github scroll down here we have called dist folder inside this dist folder we have two files we have to download basically two files first sweetalert.css or either one of the JS files from these two files called me.js and .js. So all these files we have to download and basically to set to our application. So first of all, I have downloaded all these files. Here we have called data table.mean.css, mean.js, this is validation and these are the files for sweet alert. Now I'm going to attach all these files to our admin panel. So I'm going to copy this JS files and these are the three JS files, copy all these things and I'm going to inside this application public and inside this public let's make a folder something called assets and let's say assets inside these assets let's say make a folder called JS and CSS. So inside this JS folder we have put all the files and also I'm going to cut these Two CSS files go our assets CSS and paste here so all these these files we have moved successfully inside the application now next we have to attach that go to editor and inside this let's copy and paste this line and inside this line we have to attach first of all we have to remove all these things let's say public inside this public this is not public so it's a that assets and this is CSS inside this CSS we have to attach the name so I'm going to copy and rename this name go to editor and pasting it here again I'm going to copy this line and let me say that for sweet dot mean dot CSS sorry so sweet dot CSS copy this name and I'm going to replace it with this name so save this file go to browser and reload this page if I press ctrl U and here are the two files so if I copy on this link this is data table file and this is our sweet alert file so successfully we have attached our styles files let's attach our JS files so go to scripts.blade.php copy this line pasting it here and let's say that instead of this dist folder we have to go inside assets called JS and inside this JS folder we have files called this is it for data table so copy this name back to editor and pasting it here again I'm going to paste copy and paste this line only the thing we have to change the name so copy this validate.js and pasting it here again I'm going to copy and paste this line and finally we have attached called sweet alert.js so just copy and rename and pasting it here save this file okay we did a mistake and mistake is that we have to just keep the path as it is only the file name should be replaced so save this page go to browser reload this browser back to footer and these are the files so if I click on any of the JS files and it is properly connected with application and finally while attaching, attaching these files I'm going to make a custom JS files 
which we will basically we will use in later video sessions. So this is custom JS or let's say custom script dot JS. Okay. Inside this JS file, let's open this file inside gedit and let's say that this is our custom JS file for our use. Save this file, close here and uh, back to our editor and let me attach this file here. So let's say that inside JS folder we have a file called custom script.js. Back to browser, reload this source code and here is the file that we have attached. If I click on this file, this is our JS file. So finally guys inside this video session basically we have removed the unnecessary file from our scripts.blade.php and from the style section and also we have attached some of the new CSS and JS files to our use for our upcoming videos. From the next video session guys we are going to make the layout for our add section called add section, add class and so many more things in our upcoming videos. So inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will, be, I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.